When summer wraps up in the Camden Rockport area and the tourists start to leave, things get pretty quiet until you drive into Northport where you can hear the faint hum of weaving machines hard at work year round along Route 1. From the outside, the small farmhouse doesn't look like much, but open the doors to Swan's Island Company and you'll find a boutique that's been catering to celebrities and presidents for more than 25 years. Swan's Island Company started in 1992 in John and Carolyn Grace's living room in Cambridge, Massachusetts. And they had this idea because in John's family were old wool blankets that were still very useful and beautiful. And he had this idea, I wonder who's making these blankets. And he looked and found that no one was. He and his wife Caroline decided they would start making blankets on Swan's Island where they had a summer place. These days, weaving anything by hand is rare, but it's the trademark for Swan's Island Company. And we're doing a process that would be familiar to people who were making blankets 200 years ago. In 2004, Bill Larita and his wife took the blanket weaving company over, moving it to the mainland, a small farmhouse just off of Route 1 in Northport. My wife and I lived upstairs in what's now administrative space. We made a little apartment for ourselves up there. And so I apprenticed with the Graces and learned how to do the weaving and how to do the dyeing and how to sell the blankets. The process begins as locally as possible with sheep's wool from farms in New England, including College of the Atlantic in Bar Harbor. The wool is spun. So this is natural indigo. Then dyed in-house. And as it sits out in the air, you could see it's turning a darker blue. We can kind of do anything. So often people will come into the shop and they'll see a skein of yarn on the wall and they say, I love that color. And we'll take that skein of yarn off and we'll say, this can be part of your blanket. And they'll use it as a stripe color or a solid. These blankets have been sold all over the world, even catching the eyes of a few first ladies. Well, we have had a lot of politicians. We've sold blankets to the state house to use as gifts for visiting dignitaries, to the White House, so um, the Obamas bought several of our products to give away as uh, gifts to visiting prime ministers. We've made a blanket for Melania Trump, who was interested in one for their airplane. And we do take a special pride that people like that notice a little company like this in Maine and uh, go ahead and make a purchase. With hundreds of custom colors to choose from, which did the first lady pick for her plane? It's white merino and white Corriedale. It could be on Air Force One. I, I know they have their, their, or I assume they have their own plane, maybe, I don't know. And uh, yeah, maybe it is Air Force One. We'll go with that story. <laughs> What is it that stands out about this small main company? Larita says it's all about the quality and the craftsmanship. So these are heirlooms. People tend to purchase these things because they're going to uh, treasure them and then hand them down from generation to generation. So we want to get it right. Which is why each product is carefully vetted, hand woven, hand picked. It's a lot of work, it really is. But you know, it's also part of the story of the product. A product made in the Midcoast by locals using local products. A part of why we're in business is that we're providing good, solid jobs to local people. And in order to do that, you have to have your sales increase. We try to find a nice balance between charging what we have to charge, being profitable, and also being uh, responsible. Charging what they have to charge. The price tag is a little high on those blankets. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that he had talked about was that heritage, how people try to pass it down to different generations. And part of doing that is they actually have what they call a blanket hospital there <laughs> where they take in old blankets and they fix them. They make them look brand new. I've never heard of such a thing. It's Nor like, have I. You know, you hear about it for bean boots, you know, right. bring your bean boots in, get them resold. I right. had no idea that there were blanket hospitals. That's great. Blanket hospital in Northport. <laughs> Swans Island, by the way, makes more than just blankets. If you'd like to learn more information, just head to the 207 section of our website.